Hi, this is an idea that I got from Paul McQuarter's Raspberry Pico W lesson number 27 when he was um, drawing a design that looked like a rotating Pringles chip and I thought I'm sure you can do more with that, uh, more than that with it so I thought how about doing a spirograph emu emulator. Now I don't know whether the younger people amongst you might not know what spirograph is but there's the box and you can see it's got um, plastic rings and um, little smaller radius um, circles and they all have interconnecting teeth on and uh, a spirograph was invented by someone who wanted to make things easier for draftsmen but then people realised you could actually make it into a toy. I bought mine in order to design some strange t-shirts but I never got round to it and the, you can draw all sorts of things with it like I don't know if you can see that all those different patterns and they di they um, depend on the size, the ratio of the outside ring and the inside um, circle. And you can also draw different colours by changing your pen when you've done one rotation or, or whatever. So, how, how you use it. If you take your outside ring and stick it to a bit of paper and then put your inside ring there and then you can use a pen or in my case a pencil and you choose whichever hole you want and you just go round and round and round whoops I'm not doing this very well because it's slipping and I'm sure you can just about see that it's made a pretty pattern but what makes it even better is it, you could stick that imagine that's your iPad you could stick that it is putty will come off onto the screen of your iPad and then you could open up a drawing program and do the same thing and use a stylus instead and that means you can create graphics for your computer but anyway, I don't have a stylus, so I um, didn't do that. So, I googled um, what are the parametric equations for drawing a spirograph, creating a spirograph, and I got those, which is all dependent on R, which is the radius of the big ring, little r, which is the radius of the um, little circle, and the angle where you are as as you're going round with your pencil it goes round and round and round and round and then um, you're using cos for x and you're using sine for y and obviously r wants to be bigger than little r and p is the position if i can find it It's the position of the pencil, whether it's closest to the center or furthest out. Now, if it's, fur if it's right at the edge, P equals one. If it's right in the middle, P equals naught. And the, it's creating like petals as you move it round. And if the bigger um, P is, the bigger the petals are. I will just to demonstrate, I'll show this in action and then maybe you can understand it. Right, we'll try um, big R equals 30, little r equals seven, uh, three. I'll, I'll just show the result to begin with, that's probably easier. Right, we'll run this program. And there you can see it's drawn a loopy thing and uh, it's got 10 
10 loops because 30 divided by 3 is 10 and when you simplify I, I'll, I'll go into simplifying the fraction but it only needed one go at that so we'll try one rotation so we'll, we'll try um, r equals little r equals 5 now according to me 30 divided by 5 is 6 therefore you um, will get 6 lobes we'll run that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 yep uh, we'll try 10 yep now if we show the actual tracing of it you'll be able to see better what happens so I will take out that comment that uh, so it will actually work um, we'll try first of all with five nice number and you can see it's going round like it's done its first whole loop second whole loop third whole loop fourth fifth and then it finishes. And then it closes. Now if you put in R equals 4 and run it, You'll notice that hasn't closed the curve, so it carries on, it carries on, and now it finishes. Now, I initially thought if if r, if little r is a factor of big R, it can do it in one revolution. And then I was thinking, well, maybe if it isn't a factor of big R, then it will need, if little r is 4, it would need 4 revolutions. But then I realised that if you simplified this equation, so instead of 4 divided by 30, if you simplified it down, it would be 2 divided by 15, then that would be, you would need two revolutions and it would end up drawing 15 petals. So if you, if you ignore the OLED and just look at that, it says the simplified fraction of 4 over 30 is 2 over 15, which works fine. Now I was looking for something for the Raspberry Pi that would simplify fractions for me and I couldn't find anything in MicroPython. I could find it for the Raspberry Pi but not for the Pico. So then I had to write this to simplify the fraction. So what I do is I take R and big R and then I go from, um, from I going from R, stepping down every time. And each time I'm checking to see whether I, which starts off um, at R, is um, is a factor of little r and is a factor of big R. And if it is, as you're working your way down, it means that you've found uh, the highest, what do you call it, the highest common denominator, well, whatever it is. So that, that is how I managed to get it to go um, to change from 4 over 30 down to 2 over 15. And it means that you would need two ro four rotations of, going, of drawing to get back to the point you started with. 
and if I show you another one, if I put in 7 and run that. You cannot simplify 7 over 30. So, according to me, it will take 7 full rotations to do it and you're going to end up with 30 little petals on the outside. So, this might take a while. And you can see off on the right where the drawing started and it still hasn't joined up so I don't know are we on about three rotations something like that this may take some time You can see that it's actually filling in as we go because all the time it keeps looping and looping and looping and looping and looping and looping. So gradually things are being filled in. You can still see on the right, it's very, very slightly uneven where it hasn't joined up. And we're getting close. There. There. And now it's full, finished. Right. The program looks a lot... Um, the, the design is a lot more intricate, but showing it on a little LED, you can't really see. So if I go 4 again, it's done exactly the same thing and it will finish. Now if I put in 10 and run it, You can see where it says simplified fraction one that means one rotation and it had three lobes but if I change P to naught I don't know what this will look like it means that there won't the loops won't be so big so we'll try running that and this is as if you have the pencil an awful lot closer to the centre and in fact isn't showing any perceivable loops at all. So we'll try point 0.5, that might make a difference.
yeah kind of halfway between the loopiness of the other one and just one final thing it isn't that slow if you just show the results it does it almost immediately right I thought this was a fun idea and it just shows what you can do if you know your maths a bit and trigonometry I didn't I stole I stole the um, parametric equations from the internet.